now I look kind of like orange. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I hope this is just the lighting. <laughs> oh, <gasps> yes! I got a hole in one! Dude, I'm so good at this. Jojoba oil? Jojoba? Jo Jojoba? Jojoba? I have no idea. Hi guys, it's Audrey. What's up? How are you guys all doing today? I am so excited for today's video because I am going to be trying TikTok ads. So these were sponsorships that I have been recommended on TikTok. And oh my goodness, let me just say, this was actually harder than I thought it was gonna be. So before we begin, I went into this thinking that I was just gonna scroll on TikTok until I found like a sponsored thing by TikTok from another company. And I did get one, but I was like legit, I was scrolling for hours, so long. I only found one of those. So what I resorted to was just going to sponsorships that other TikTok creators have done. Some of these products are things that were directly recommended to me and some of them I had to go searching for to find sponsored things, which I never thought I would do in my life because sometimes ads are a little annoying, but um, not today. So um, you may be wondering why my face, why I'm not ready for the day. I'm literally in my PJs, hair not done, makeup not done, because a lot of these products today are gonna be helping me get ready for the day, coincidentally. So um, it took me about a week to get all of my products, but they're here, we have them all. I ordered them all off of Amazon, um, which was great because then I got them fast. Thank you, shipping. Let's get started with the first TikTok and see what we have. All right, so this TikTok is from Nia Sue, and it's a sponsorship from e.l.f. And I don't know if I've ever used e.l.f. products before, but I'm really curious to try this. Um, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. It looks like her brother did her makeup for her. This is also something I had to go searching for like uh, for a sponsorship. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks like she's using all e.l.f. makeup products on her face. Um, I also don't really remember that much of what I ordered because it's been uh, about a week. <laughs> um, okay, so now that we watched this TikTok ad, we got a makeup product. Let's open up our packages and do our makeup together and see how we like it. All right, so it looks like the first thing that I ordered from e.l.f. And once again, I ordered these all from Amazon. Um, so it's not like e.l.f.'s website, but it should be from e.l.f. Oh, okay, I ordered this satin lipstick, Touch of Pink. I don't usually wear a lipstick. I'm trying to like get into it and find products that I like. So I hope this works, I hope this is a good color. Honestly, it's very hard to judge color based off of online products. So I'm hoping everything will match my skin tone. <laughs> Speaking of which, I decided to take this one out on a limb. I didn't know what I was gonna get and I'm honestly quite scared. I got a foundation. I don't know if this is my color or not. I guess we'll see when I put it on. All right, and then this is our last product and it's in this weird packaging, so I gotta open it. Okay, we're opening up the last thing and oh my gosh. <gasps> <laughs> it's broken. This is so sad. Oh, look at the packaging. Oh my gosh, it's just glitter everywhere. So, as you can tell, this was an eyeshadow palette. It's a little baby one. This is a mess. This is just getting everywhere. Don't order eyeshadows online because this is what happens. This is so sad. It's literally spilling everywhere. So I'm gonna try opening this and when we get to each makeup part, I will show you uh, my routine and how I think of each thing. Okay, I think we're ready for the first um, makeup thing, and that's this very, very sad eyeshadow palette. I did open it, and it was even more of a mess, guys. This eyeshadow right here completely cracked and spilled everywhere. It's on the other eyeshadows. It's all over, like, it's just all over everything, and it's, it's a mess. And yes, I am weird. I am one of those few people who do, like, their eye makeup look first and then their face makeup just because it's easier for me and if I ever do get fallout, then it's not stuck to like my face. Honestly, the this looks really pretty. Like it has good colors in it. I just wish that it wasn't ruined. 
then, okay, so we're gonna go in with the lightest color. I think these colors are all chosen on purpose because you're supposed to like put this one all over. I think this one goes like right here and then this darker one probably goes like up top and then this like highlights the corner. I'm pretty sure on how it is. Not for certain, um, but that's what my plan is gonna be. I wonder how long I'm gonna keep using this though because one of the eyeshadows are damaged. I mean, if it wasn't damaged, then I would use it, I think. I mean, we'll see at the end. I'm gonna do this. And then we'll we'll see how the eye makeup looks. All right, I just finished my eyeshadow. This is what it looks like with all of the four colors on. It's a little bit more of like a natural look. Like it's not too crazy. Um, so I think I like it. I don't know how I feel right now. So I'm gonna put on the rest of my eye makeup look, and then I feel like I get a better picture of whether um, I'm gonna keep using this or not. Um, and then we're gonna put on the foundation next, which is another thing I'm really scared of. <laughs> so let's go do that. All right, now the eye makeup look is officially done. This is what it looks like. I feel a lot better about it now, now that I see like it all on. So now we're gonna use the foundation. This actually feels pretty heavy duty. I don't think any of these makeup products I got were that expensive, so I don't know. If they work out, that's gonna be great because then I can just keep buying them, but if they don't, I'm not gonna be super mad. So it says I put it on like a, a, like a beauty blender. This beauty blender is like deformed. I've never used it before. What is going on? What is that? Oh, it looks so nasty. There's like little clear things inside, like it's not blended properly. I hope this matches my skin tone. Is this gonna match? <gasps> kind of. I feel like it's close for not knowing online what it was gonna look like, but it's not bad. I don't know how you, like how much you can tell on camera what it looks like. So I'm gonna keep blending this in. Also another reason why I don't use foundation that much is because my face just, I don't think likes the feeling of it. Sometimes it gets everywhere, but we're trying we're trying new things today. So we'll see how we like this and I'm gonna see if it looks even and good. Guys, I'm actually not mad about this product. Like for picking it out online, this is a pretty good like match, I think. I think it's slightly off of my skin tone, um, and maybe it's a little bit hard to tell with the lighting in this room, but I am impressed by this because it did all go on evenly. Also, another thing which I hate with foundation is that usually around my nose area, especially right here, it creases. And maybe that's because like I just have this really old foundation that I hardly ever use, and every time I use it, I get major creasing around my nose. Also, another thing is like it gets sticky and leaves a residue, but this one does not. Like this one doesn't even feel like I'm wearing foundation. 10 out of 10, this I will probably use and I'm just impressed. So I, yeah, I hope I put this on right. I hope it doesn't look too bad. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Last thing we're gonna try out is lipstick. So I'm gonna finish my face and we'll move on to the lipstick. All right, now that the rest is done, last step we have the lipstick. Ta-da! It looks really fancy, by the way. Also, okay, now I look kind of like orange. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I hope this is just the lighting. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Okay, so. This is actually the exact, oh yes, I love this lip shade. Also, it's creamy, it's not like dry and like matte, like hard to put on. It's pretty nice, I like it. I think now the real test though is how long this will last throughout the day. Let's see what the package says. I don't know if it says it's supposed to last all day. No, it doesn't. So anyways, this is the final makeup look, my finished look of the day. Honestly, so far, I think for all these products, I'm gonna give a thumbs up. I, I like all of them. It was fun trying them out, even though one came in broken and I really had to go on a limb on some of them, but I think they look good overall. So now the next TikTok I got, let's look at this together. This was actually one that I had that was sponsored to me. All right, so it's this TikTok um, called Style Snap by Amazon Fashion, and basically it's this feature on Amazon where you could upload a picture and it will find clothes similar to that picture and you can buy them, like from a whole bunch of different stores. 
So I went ahead and I used this feature on Amazon. So I took this picture right here because I've been interested in like patched jeans. I think they look really cool. I've never owned any and as you guys know, I love a good like fashion pants. I love like crazy pants. So I took this picture and then I went on Amazon's Style Snap and put it into the system, seeing if it would work. I wasn't sure because it was crazy jeans. It wasn't like a normal pair of jeans. And it came up with a lot of results, which I was so happy. And they all looked really similar to the one that I found. I was shocked. I picked one of them and sadly they did not have my size in the blue color, but we got it in a crazy purple and pink color and I am excited but so scared at the same time because apparently these are bell bottom jeans. These are boot cut like, like I haven't had a pair of jeans like this and I don't know how long. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, I changed into my crazy pants. This is what they look like. Ta-da, ta-da. They are insane. <laughs> but actually, okay, the first time I put them on, I'm like, what the heck? But the more I have them on, the more I'm not mad about it. What do you think, Spencer? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I don't know. If you are interested in something like this, I got it from PDK. Never heard of them before. But that was what the tag said. So I'm gonna thumbs up for this one. I think the Style Me thing on Amazon was really cool, and I definitely will be using it more in the future if I like found something like or someone's like outfit on Instagram or Pinterest and I don't know where they got it from. You just put it in there and then you discover a whole world of things. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up and let's move on to the next TikTok ad. Okay, next thing we are on the couch for because it's actually a game that was suggested. So let's see what it is. All right, so I got a ad for golf battle, play golf with friends and basically I think it's advertising um, the app on your phone. I know this is like on the computer, you can play with your friends. So this is like the mobile version and it looks like it's just mini golf <laughs> and you're just trying to win. I guess um, you could just, I've seen other people play this game and it looks like you just take your turns like one after another, like you don't have to wait on the other person. So let's give this a try and see how it goes. All right, so I'm in the game. It says drag back to aim and add power release to shoot. Ta -da. Okay. Oh, oh, <gasps> yes, I got a whole one. Dude, so good at this. Let's try match, complete the courses as few shots as you can. I am gonna be a limo at this. <gasps> Dude, I am, I just started this and I freaking won in two turns. I probably even could have gotten it in one. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Spencer actually wanted to play this with me on the computer, so maybe we'll download it. Kind of fun, kind of fresh. Here we go. Oh, James, get out of the way. I can't go. Thank you, James. Okay, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is definitely not my best round. I was the top, now I'm the bottom. But anyways, dude, I'm in first place. Rocking it. This was the game for me. All right. Well, this is pretty fun. I'm gonna have to give this a thumbs up I'm glad that TikTok didn't advertise like some random stupid game because I know there's a lot of Games in the app store that are definitely not the funnest. All right, let's take a look to see what our last ad from TikTok was Okay, so this one is from Lindsay Wheeler one and it's for Aussie curl hair products so it looks like she's using a bunch of different um, products from Aussie in this video. And her hair is so beautiful, it is so curly. I wish my hair was like that, but it's not. Um, I purposefully left my hair natural in this video so you guys can see what it looks like. I don't know specifically what my hair type is. I know it's wavy, but I know there's like a1, A2, A3, I don't know. There's like different kinds. So I can't really tell like how wavy it is, but this is what it looks like. So we have the Aussie Miracle Curls and the shampoo and conditioner. And they have coconut and Australian jojoba oil. Jojoba? Jo jojoba? Jojoba? 
I have no idea. I have used like the curl products from Aussie before, um, actually in a video before, so you should check it out if you haven't. And I think they worked a little bit, but I want to like actually test to see it, like try it and longer than just like one video, but obviously for this video I'm only going to be able to try it once. But at the end of the day today, I'm going to take a shower and use these products and then I will update you after that with how my hair is. I guess I will see you at the end of the day with my crazy wet hair. Alright guys, it's a new day. It's actually the next day because I decided to take my shower in the morning. So, I did use both of these products. You can tell because like the ball is literally bent from me squeezing it out. So I put in the shampoo and the conditioner and then I brushed my hair because I can't just stick my hair in a towel without being brushed because it's so scraggly. And then I stuck it in a shirt because apparently that's better. Let's see what the results are. Oh! <laughs> Okay, well, it's not all dry and my shirt's still wet, so we're gonna have to use my little blow dry tool. Oh my gosh, I can't tell if this is like curly or if this is just like a frizz mess. Okay, I just blow dried my hair on like the cool setting and I think it's not 100% dry, but I think most of it is dry, so this is what we're looking at right now with it being all dried. I let most of it dry in the towel as I got ready for the day. I responded to comments on two videos. I did my makeup obviously, got ready. Um, and I don't know how I feel about this. I like it. There are curls amongst my scraggle, poofy mess. And I, I feel like I definitely had more curls today compared to yesterday as you guys saw in the previous clip. So. Um, I don't really like how frizzy it is right now, so I'm going to try to put some of this product in my hair, which is just some anti-frizz polishing milk. And it's basically just supposed to calm, calm my hair down, so it's not as crazy. I think this product does work. I'm not going to say it doesn't, because obviously we're seeing different results. I think I'm just going to have to continuously use it and also try no heat on my hair as much as possible so that my curls like come out better. Those are all the products that were suggested to me on TikTok. I mean, at least the first couple that I saw. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below if you've ever tried any of these products and your thoughts on them because I want to know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.